next poet is Sara Chesley. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I thought about it. Um, everything, not everything, but we read a lot of stuff about love. We listen to music about love. We paint and look at paintings about love, and we never get sick of love. We never get sick of love. That's why I've written yet another love poem. It's not a poem, it's prose or it's a piece. And I hope that you guys won't get sick of this one. Um, I wrote this two years ago when I was looking for someone who I am no longer looking for today. Here it goes. <laughs> I look for you everywhere. It's when I'm in the middle of a crowded room and you're not there, that's when I look for you the most. And you're just not there, and you're not here, and it kills me. That's extremely hyperbolic, yes, I know, but it just does. Because feelings, they twitch, and they hurt, and we just don't know how to explain how badly they do. And we're too afraid to talk about them. So we put them in songs, or show them off in the colors of a painting. We fabricate them into literature and wait for someone else to come along and understand what it feels like. I find myself childishly bickering with the air of a vented restaurant or while walking down the street. That's because your scent uninvited, uninvitedly tosses itself my way and slaps me in the face real fucking hard. It gloats and I sit there and stare at its male vomit and pleasure with this incessant voice in my head screaming in jaded exasperation, why are you doing this to me? And sometimes when I'm all by myself sitting on a table for two, I intently stare at the vacant seat and wonder if I could sketch you. I wonder if it's possible for me to detail your every contour and raise the corners of your lips on nothing, on a canvas of thin air. I'd have them spill out your heaviness, heaviness for only me to listen to and care about. I'd have you talk for me to find some kind of kindred spirit in your words, some kind of comfort. And with the mendering strokes of a brush, I'd finish you off with the many colors of your eyes and their different shades and the glint of gold in the upper corner of your right eye triggered by rivulets of broad daylight. And for fading moments, I won't have to look for you anywhere because I'd have you, just you, right there.